why you shouldn't make a comic <sighs> where do i start uh, long time ago in this channel i uploaded a video called five reasons why to make a comic or why to create your own comic because honestly making a comic is something amazing especially if you love it but also left me thinking there are indeed some reasons to not make one as well or at least to not invest as much as you can in that comic hello everyone i am mg welcome to my channel and quick needless apology that my life was as hard as yours and couldn't upload i'm sorry but let's get on the reasons why your comic could fail i should clarify that some of the reasons i'm going to mention are not that bad but they are bad if it's absolutely the only reason why you want to create your comic number one making a comic just because you want to be popular if you don't even read or like comics if you don't even like creating comics but you're just making a comic because you think it will make you popular and maybe famous this is particularly annoying because of people who see others make a comic and think it's something super easy to do it's like dude this page took me eight hours honestly this comic thing is not easy but i have bad news for the people who do this it requires work so if you're not willing to stay consistent and you give up as soon as something else pops up in your life the comic will fail on itself there is nothing bad with wanting to be popular literally everyone wants their comic to be a success who doesn't but to be honest if you don't love to do it you will give up quickly and just will have wasted your time Number two you don't love or are willing to endure the whole process this is dedicated especially to standalone people i think this is fine if you are not working by yourself and what do i mean here's the thing i know many artists and non-creative people or creative people who want to make a comic there are millions of people with brilliant comic ideas and most of them want to make a fan-made comic or very inspired on something they love like a particular culture history moment mythology maybe etc but first they have to research and they don't like to research so they end up being stuck not even doing the first step to make their comic because between them and their dream there is that research process they are not willing to go through to create their own masterpiece that's why the graveyard is one of the richest places on earth it has so many ideas that will never be executed <sighs> there are possible solutions to this however if it's you this point i'm talking about you can join forces with someone in any step of the comic process maybe they would even even be willing to work for free with their conditions of course so if you don't like writing everything or any step you dislike you can pay someone and or ask for a friend's help you do have friends right if you don't have friends don't worry that's why we have the internet there are many artists forums where everyone can search for help just try to offer something good enough so other creative people consider donating their valuable precious time out of their own free projects to help you out with yours you should probably offer something really cool if not maybe you find someone who is willing to help you yeah good luck if you don't want to work with someone skip that step just do something maybe maybe don't care about the research and don't really care about how accurate your story is so if you wanted to make um your story about a certain culture but you're not willing to do the research about that culture then get rid of that culture and just use it as inspiration or something you know like you can create a magic kingdom so you don't actually have to be accurate um with its culture and history and stuff like that time out 
I deeply believe, and this is going to be important, I, I believe all dreams are possible. Whether you want to be the most successful comic creator on earth, writer or artist, I believe you can more or less do that if you have a clear goal and work hard. But you don't fully know when it's going to happen and that's key. You don't know if you could achieve that when you're 10, 20 or 80 years old. Many book authors you respect and love, probably, wrote their masterpieces when they were um, not so young. You don't know if you were supposed to make it when you're 60 years old, but you didn't take care of your body and get, I don't know, some sickness at 58 and die before making it. It seems sad, doesn't it? Art and writing ask you to dedicate your life to them but make sure to love the process and not just the result. Make sure you are happy in the path as well, because if you die or get sick before having the results, you will feel like you have wasted your life. Meanwhile, if you love the process and the comic creating process, you will think how much fun did you have on your life. Not loving the process may be fatal because not everything on the comic process is working on the comic or your art non-stop. It includes something, some other things I'm going to talk about in the rest of this video. But yeah, this is this is very important, guys. Maybe one of the most important things I'm, I'm saying. In your comic process, you need, you must, honestly, have breaks. And if necessary, you may need to do body stretches and even work out. Yeah, I know, working out sucks. I really hate it and I prefer to sleep. But taking breaks from something you love so much, I know, it sucks sometimes. So let me explain why stuff like that and taking care of your health and doing things that aren't necessarily directly related to working on your comic are important. Maybe you know some artists, I'm going to link them down below. For example, Loish or Yume. They are both amazing artists, I fucking love them. Loish is mainly a concept artist, I think, and Yume does create comics as well. They both didn't take breaks while drawing and yeah, they are very good, but what happened? They got hurt, yep, and couldn't draw for a great while, which if you ask me, that must be really pain. Yume especially has repetitive strain injury on her hands and she can lo no longer work for hours without stopping or just a certain amount of hours in a day. Can you imagine that? That's, that's horrible. Like, What I mean is there are things in the comic creating process you're not gonna like. We creatives have this drug like obsession on our craft. It's demanding, requires lots of hours, and we love it. But if we don't take good care of other stuff like marketing or our bodies, eating more or less, or um, like we don't drink enough water, and maybe we don't even take care of our artistic injuries, unless you want to end up in a graveyard before seeing your comic being the number one best, I don't know, what's for comics bestseller, best comic ever in the world, only because you got diabetes, I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong, only if you, because you got diabetes for eating so bad and not working out, you better take care of your freaky self. It sounds very dramatic, I know, chances are you are only drawing once a week because you have fun, so you have no real danger of this I'm talking about, at least not now. But this goes more for the people on the obsession phase. The people who physically need to do something for their dream every day or they get depressed. People that work so many hours without stopping because it feels so good to be creating. The people who get in the zone more often and that actually function less as human beings and more like weird things that live for creating sometimes. Yeah, it can get that scary. Or not, if you're more well-adjusted than any of the rest of us, maybe. 
Be careful and enjoy the process, even the non-creative stuff, because it's important as well. Be careful, be happy, please. Take breaks, enjoy life, you can do this. And yeah, we creative people are crazy. Subscribe to the channel and comment if this related at some level with you. Probably if you love creating. Um, yeah, so number three reason why not to make a comic, you should consider that independent comics are very hard. Most people, when, to, when you tell them that you are creating a comic, will either think you are making a gag comic or a superhero story. Those types of comics can be very popular, especially the superhero comics. DC and Marvel, for example, have many characters that people already know and love. Chances are you already know who Batman is. Almost everyone not living on the rocks know. But if you ask people who your character is, they obviously have no idea. They don't even know who you are. Unless you are making a fan comic in which you get inspired by somebody's, somebody else's story and characters and make your own unique creation, people don't know you, nor do they know if you're good enough to capture their attention. There are actual videos on YouTube of comic artists living in their mom's basement because their dream didn't succeed right away and that's all they invested in. This dream of making comics is very noble, but it's hard. So be prepared to hustle a lot, not only in the comic creating process, as I said, but listening to feedback to your clients, to your readers, and do marketing even if it's boring to you. So yeah, independent comics are hard, be prepared. Uh, number four, this is very similar, but not the same. Making a comic is hard. <laughs> well, this whole video. Well, this point is almost completely cleared. I love talking about comics and stories, so especially if you are putting effort in your art, each page may take you a lot of hours. Because if you're seeking perfection or as much as you can make it, you may search for tutorials, make the page more than one time, search for anatomy references, or even practice for that beautiful page. It can be something super draining between your job, school, or your comic, or maybe you have even more things, because you may be sitting down for countless of hours. It can be extremely taxing on your sleepy brain, your hands, wrists, upper arms, shoulders, neck, spine, etc, etc. Also, if you sleep bad and have so many things to do, you risk burnout, which will be a topic for another video if you want me to give suggestions on how I handle it, in case you're interested. There will be a point where your breaks or pauses from your work and or comic will require you to lay on your back or, you know, some extreme way of resting. Even holding a phone can become painful for your hands. So, yep, making a comic, it is hustling a lot and very tiring, but it's so worth it if you love it. Number five, reason to not make a comic, if you care, of course, is that people won't understand you most of the time. And this is one of the most difficult barriers for some people in their creative process. I think it, this is especially hard for independent adults, maybe. I know we can't really categorize people. Everyone is unique and special, even if they don't seem like it at first glance. But it's usually like this. First group of people, or, or at least how I'm going to divide it, is that we have the people who don't love you and feel entitled to determine how your future is going to go. They may say things like, I'm a lawyer and you are an artist, you have no future. And then they get home and watch a fantasy Netflix show in which writers and storyboard artists were required to work on. But yeah. <laughs> they, they usually shouldn't affect you, honestly. But this is 
especially terrible if it's people who have power over you like your parents or someone you actually love the second group is um, we have the people who do love you but they feel angry sad and lonely because you are spending your time with your comic or creative dreams instead of spending that time with them be aware that being in a relationship takes its due amount of work so you do have to show people how valuable they are to you without putting your dreams at risk this is a very difficult subject for another video maybe or in life don't feel guilty when working on your dreams but also don't feel like they are the only ones to blame that may be you third we have the people who don't give a damn who don't care for me it's people like one of my sisters she stays out of my business and i stay out of hers and we live peacefully more or less knowing there is another presence on that house we live in this group of people are very i don't know peaceful unless you are sensitive and you care more about their approval than your comic dreams hey they just may not be into your comic and or things that aren't tv shows and that's okay everyone is different if you love comics bad enough to go through all of this congratulations obviously each person's case is different but regardless wish you lots of success if you recognize that you aren't willing to go through all of this and more i couldn't mention for now also congratulations hope you find other things that make you happy and fulfilled in life comment down below i love hearing from you and i may start featuring comments let me know what you think subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this amazing video maybe i should add that my comic is linked in the description so everyone a, a quick announcement and i am sorry about all the ambient noise that you are going to hear but i am going to change the youtube channel schedule to instead of every uh, every saturday it's going to be every other saturday you know like two videos each month and i know it's super little amount of videos or I don't know how to say it, I'm sorry but I am having a very hard time balancing engineering, school, my comic and this YouTube channel and on top of that other things like my relationship and you know stuff so that's why I am changing it it's going to be a temporary decision I hope because I also feel like it's too little right now but I prefer to deliver you two videos in a month than no videos any month you know just because I didn't plan or something I prefer to be prepared for those times so that's why the schedule is going to change for a while I, I, I think it's going to last for about three months or two months more so bear, bear with me bear with me oh. But yeah, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.